I actually have no idea how to start this video, but I guess we're gonna start by answering two of the biggest questions of them all, which is where on earth have I been? And second, if I am really pregnant. Okay, so the first question is where have I been? Let's see. Uh, May, June, July. Yes, yes bits. I've been at home for the last three months in my bedroom eating and drinking and sleeping for the most part. The next question is if I am pregnant. Yes, mama is pregnant. <sighs> Can you imagine me? Has anything changed? I mean, my friends would tell me that I'm really, really blooming. <laughs> Like, that would bother me. And uh, yes, that is basically why I have been only at home and not being able to film actually. So I'm gonna start by going all the way back to the last day that I filmed a video, which is a vlog with my parents in the backyard. That day, I was feeling a little bit tired already. Like, I would do a little bit of work in the yard, helping my mom and my dad. But the minute I would start um, cutting grass or pulling out weeds and everything else, um, I would get tired like really, really quick. And I thought I was just being lazy because, you know, your parents are here. When you're around your parents, you feel like you're a princess or you're a queen or something like that. So I thought it was something normal and I've been eating a lot. My father had noticed that that every time we would eat he would always tell me that why do you eat so much you don't eat a lot like that. So I mean I thought I was just indulging myself. It was just me missing my mom's cook and everything else. So it didn't really came up to me that something like that would have happened and that w those were the clues of me being pregnant. That exact day that I filmed that vlog, the next day I found out that I was pregnant. Usually I would wait until like a week before I would test because that's like giving myself like a concrete concrete insurance that the result of that test would be legit. It's enough time that I gave myself to be delayed for me to test if I am pregnant or not for the result to be accurate. I was three days delayed already. So I thought to myself, I just want to get over the stress of me thinking that I might be pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm delayed. I am never delayed ever since I got married. I kind of ignored the fact and then on that third day I was just not having it like my thoughts would not leave me to take the test mind you guys I am so used to getting negative results that I was about to throw the pregnancy test but this time when I glanced at it and then about to throw it away right when I was about to let it go I kind of had that moment where it's like was that right or wrong and then I looked at it again and then this is what I saw when I tell you the feeling of being so weak to your knees, that's how I felt. Like I was really, really speechless. I'm the type of girl that would really, really pay attention to details. Like on my daily routine, especially when it comes to things like that, I really, really pay attention because I don't want to take a risk of, you know, being reckless and then not being able to know that, hey girl, you might be pregnant, so how about take it easy? Before I started screaming, calling for my husband's name in the bathroom, I actually locked the bathroom door because I don't like my husband seeing me taking the test because I've always thought that if ever it would be positive I would just you know I would tell him but if it's a negative there's no need for me to tell him that I took a test because there's no news to deliver anyway it was just not connecting like I'm trying to connect the dots and everything else I'm just clueless about what what happened at all that's when I decided to start calling my husband so when I showed it to him he looked at me confused and he's like that's impossible please don't tell me you're thinking that I'm cheating or something like that or this is not his or something along those lines because neither him or I could not remember how this happened but yeah anyways I know this is gonna be TMI too much information but anyways who cares so we were trying to connect the dots and then he was telling me you know but that night and I'm like no this night and we were talking about a lot of nights oh that night I think it was that night and everything else but he won't agree with me he thinks it's the other night everything was just opposite like I would say something and he would not agree with it and he would say something and I would not agree with it my husband is the type of guy that has this he wants this satisfaction 
satisfaction of accuracy. So he wanted me to take a ton of other tests because I took the test in the morning. He wanted me to take one in the afternoon, one in the evening again, and then one again the next day. He wants me basically to monitor if everything will change. Something will change after so many hours. So that's what I did and everything else was the same. Every test that I took was still a positive, like a strong positive. The negative line was really, really thin. It was really, really blurry, but the positive line was really, really strong. So the next day, when he was convinced that it was accurate, we planned to tell my parents and his mom about what we are expecting in the next nine months. So they were all happy and excited and everything else. And when I tell you, right when I found out that I was pregnant, the next day, I don't know how to explain it, but right after that day, I was just feeling horrible and then it did not stop for three months. I actually was just able to film this right now because I'm starting to feel better and <laughs> it took me 20 weeks to feel better. It's really really tough, I'm telling you. I'm not gonna go into details of how bad I felt because the purpose of this video is just telling you guys what has happened generally for the last months that I have been out of my channel. In short terms, my pregnancy hormones was just really, really mean to me. I mean, they wanted me to suffer. Everything was really, really tough, but it's a blessing in disguise. You know, it's it's me getting pregnant and I'm, I, it's either you go through that extreme or you go through the other good extreme where you don't feel anything at all other than your belly growing. But still, I am really, really happy because we just got to the doctor and everything was good and looking great and the baby is really, really healthy. And the due date that my doctor gave me was December 10th. The funny thing about trying to connect the dots when it comes to when did I got pregnant um, between me and my husband, even the doctor was confused to the dates that I I was giving him. The first day of my last period was March 13. They start counting it there to how long you have been pregnant. So when I told him that the next visit that we had to the doctor, they did an ultrasound and the baby did not match to how long they have calculated it. Because the first due date that they gave us was December 18th. But after they did an ultrasound, the baby seemed to be bigger. Instead of December 18th, they said that the baby is gonna be due on December 10th. I'm still speechless on how am I gonna connect the dots if that's incorrect. That means I'm not correct because I I don't remember any other dates other than that. I just don't want to think about it anymore because it really doesn't make sense to try to connect the dots because the only thing that matters is that my baby is healthy and that's all I really really wish for until the day that the baby comes out. That's really all I could ever ask for. Set aside that connecting the dots anyway and I've been really really lazy <laughs> if you've ever been pregnant, um, you would understand what mama is going through. But if not, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it's really, really complex. It's actually really surreal that you have a baby inside you and you're creating life inside your belly and it's moving. And whenever it kicks, it's, it's a weird feeling, I'm telling you. It's like you have an alien inside your belly that is not supposed to be there, but it is supposed to be there. So I'm really, really hoping for best of health when it comes to my child. Of course, my husband is really, really excited. I know you guys are going to ask for pregnancy updates and I will do that since I have been feeling a lot, lot better. And I'm going to do, I guess, more on the story times this time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a lot of makeup tutorials that I used to do before maybe I will but maybe those are gonna be short makeup tutorials and nothing complex along those lines because um, I'm really planning to be more on the story times and vloggings when it comes to uh, my pregnancy updates and just what is happening and how am I dealing 
with being a first time mom, all the shoppings that's gonna happen anytime soon will be really, really exciting. So I hope you guys will be there. I'm really, really sorry from the bottom of my heart that I wasn't able to vlog anything other than that one and only vlog with my mom and my dad being here but they really really enjoyed their stay here and it was a blessing in disguise that they were here while I was pregnant because I don't know how would I have survived without my mom beside me and my dad beside me on those days where I just could not even stand on my own that's how bad I was feeling I don't know if I'm all over the place when it comes to um, telling you guys what has happened but I hope I'm not but I just don't know until I edit this but yeah that was it I really really thank you guys especially for those of you who have reached out your concerns I know I posted a status on Instagram that I will be back soon when I would start to feel well and that's when I started gaining a lot of messages from you guys that for me to get well soon and everything else thank you so much for your concerns but mama is feeling well now thank you thank you Thank you. Um, I just want to again clear up everything was fine. It was just uh, pregnancy stuff that we will be talking about soon as well. But yeah, thank you again so much guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on my next video. Bye!